one of the vocal opponents of the incorporation effort is the local Metro Councilman, Jim Delgado. He spoke this morning with Bill and Kevin on the morning show and offered these comments. I think so. I think as a practical matter, there's there's just no way they're going to be able to get the signatures. And, and they really shouldn't even, even try. This was a bad idea to begin with. I really think, and I, and I call on them to, to just put down the pens, let's all sit down at the table together, let's work on fixing the problems that we have and stop trying to run away from them. Saying, in essence, St. George organizers need to fold up their tents because they're 2,694 signatures short. We're joined right now by Lionel Rainey, spokesman for the St. George Incorporation effort. And your response to the councilman's comments are, well, I'm surprised that, that, you know, he would want to sit down with the Baton Rouge Taliban, uh, you know, a, a bunch of terrorists, as he referred to us, and, and talk now. Um, you know, John Delgado can say what he wants. You know, there's, there is, uh, you know, the, if you look at the way that he and other city leaders have talked about the people who live in the southern portion of the parish. And remember, you know, these are these are taxpayers. These are good people. They're constituents. Um, they're residents. You know, they live here. They work here. And, you know, to mock them and to make fun of them and to act like the legitimate concerns that they have don't matter. Um, you know, these are... These are parents and, and grandparents who are going out and getting a second job, a third job, taking out a second mortgage so they can put their child in a school that's safe and where they can get a, a solid education. And these are people who just who want better for themselves, their families, their neighbors, and to, you know, they've... They, they said at the beginning that, that we could never get the petition off the ground. That was impossible. Well, then that happened, and they said we were just a handful of people. We would never, uh, we, we couldn't get 5,000 signatures. And you know, then they said we'd never get to 18,000 signatures to be able to turn it in. And now it's, you know, we won't get to uh, 2,694, and I hate to break it to Councilman Delgado, but we've got about 1,500 in the bank right now that we haven't turned in. So that leaves us with a little less than 1,200 to get over the next 60 days. So, you know, they have, they have doubted the resolve and the will of the people of the southern portion of the parish, you know, for the better part of the, the last three years. And, you know, I've, I've, we've recorded and written down every comment that's been made, uh, disparaging and making fun of and taking pot shots uh, at these people. And we'll remember them. And we'll really remember them when this gets on a ballot and goes before the people. And uh, we're just going to do what we've got to do like we've done since day one. And, you know, that's ignore the chatter and, and ignore the, you know, the name calling from from city leaders and opponents of this and just put our head down and do what we have to do to put this in front of the people and give them the opportunity to be able to vote up or down. Despite the 2,600 and change shortfall, the parish registrar of voters office validated 15,165 signatures. This says what to Lionel Rainey? I, you know, John Delgado was going to pass his measure that he had on the ballot, on, on the ballot, uh, his orientation gender identity measure. All he had to do was go out and get three thousand signatures. I mean, he didn't even try that. Um, you know, they're making fun and mocking fifteen at, at minimum fifteen thousand people. Really, you know, it's closer to seventeen thousand people because I can tell you, I've got, I'm, I've, you know, I'm looking at fifteen hundred additional signatures. Mm-hmm. You know, we're crum- coming up on 20,000 of uh, registered voters who live within this parish who said, I've had enough. We want better. And, 
you know, they don't even acknowledge the concerns. These people don't matter to them. They've never mattered to them. It's not about people. It's not about children. It's, it's not about working families to them. It's about money. That's all they ever talk about. And they are so disconnected from the real, it, it's as bad as Washington. They are absolutely, totally disconnected from what the typical person deals with on a daily basis that lives here. And that's why they don't want it on a ballot. They're not fighting this on its merits. They're doing everything they can to make sure that the people do not have the opportunity to go and vote on this because they know that if it gets on a ballot, it can pass.